Mombasa is the oldest and second largest city in Kenya. It's located on the Kenyan coastline of the Indian Ocean and administratively in Mombasa County. Mombasa is a city rich in history, culture, art, wildlife, sandy Indian Ocean beaches. Maybe you want to visit Mombasa and you don't know where to start, uh, what to do when you get here or how much it's going to cost you once you're here. I have been living in Mombasa for two years now and these places that I am going to show you are places that I have been able to visit during my stay here. I hope you enjoy this and this is my top 10 affordable things to do in Mombasa. Sunrise. Mombasa experiences tropical weather and it's relatively hot all year. And one of my favorite things to do here in Mombasa, especially when I moved here, was to wake up very early in the morning, go to the beach and catch sunrise. So when you're in Mombasa, at least try and find at least one day, one morning during your stay to go to the beach, catch sunrise. It's free, imagine. Mombasa Town. Mombasa Town is an island and the only way to get into the island is through road, by air or by ferry. Now once in Mombasa town, there are various attractions within the CBD that you can visit and my advice would be taking a tuk-tuk within town. Or walking. And some of the attractions that you'll find in town are Pembezandovu, the ivory tusks, Likoni Ferry where you can take a ferry for free to the other side of Mombasa which is the south coast side and then come back. Mamangina Drive where you can watch ships going to the port. A tuk-tuk ride within town is 50 shillings so I would highly recommend using a tuk-tuk. Mombasa Old Town Old Town is an area within Mombasa Island on the southeast side. The town's architecture was influenced by Mombasa trade culture. The town has really narrow street roads and distinctive Swahili buildings that were designed way back when by the Arabs and Swahili people. You can even see the first hotel in Kenya, which was operational in 1901. 
at the entry point of Old Town, there are local guides there who can take you around the town and give you some insight and historical facts and uh, stories about the town. And they will charge you roughly 200 shillings. Also take the opportunity to learn more about the Swahili culture, Mombasa Old Town and the history behind it. Which is right next to the Mombasa Old Port. For Jesus. Located on Mombasa Island, Fort Jesus was built in 1593 by the Portuguese to protect the old port of Mombasa. When you visit the fort, you learn a lot about the history behind it, like how it was captured and recaptured over nine times, at least over nine times in history. Because for you to control Mombasa Island and its trade, you had to first capture the fort and then be able to control the whole trade thing in Mombasa. And also the fort played a big role in slave trade within the Kenyan coast. It will cost you about 200 shillings as a Kenyan citizen and also as a foreigner it will cost you 1,200, 1,500, somewhere there. Bombolulu Workshop and Cultural Center. Located on the North Coast, Bombolulu Workshop and Cultural Center is a non-profit organization where artisans with physical limitations create and sell jewelry, carvings, artifacts, which provides employment, housing, medical aid, and education for them and their families. I am recommending you to visit Bombolulu Workshop and Cultural Center when you're in Mombasa. Um, because the entry is free, but then again you get to see what um, these guys are making and you're able to even directly help by buying their products, which I think is a really cool thing to do. Chakula Mombasa is a county in Kenya that has a wide variety of foods that you can try during your visit from biryani, mshakikis, viazi karai, mabuyu, kashata, mahamri, kaimati, mbaazi, swahili tea, swahili coffee, shawarmas from Damascus. If you're visiting Mombasa for two or three days, you'll be able to have three different meals in three different sittings or three different varieties of foods and have three different experiences of foods that you've never had before. Now these are restaurants that I have been able to go to and I've had meals in and I recommend them. So if you're in Mombasa and you want to eat something, if you also have recommendations of restaurants that you feel that I should also visit, uh, Niambie in the comment section below. Leave a comment. Uh, Niambia which restaurants that I should visit. Mombasa Marine Park. If you love the ocean, like I do, then it's only right to know and see what lies beneath.
the cost to the marine park will cost you about 1,500 shillings per person depending on the number of people that you're going with it could go lower to about a thousand shillings per person if you're a bigger group of six seven eight people then it would cost you about a thousand more per person also remember the prices that i'm giving you are not fixed they are just a rough estimate of how much you're going to spend Halapak Transformed from a quarry wasteland to an ecological area, Halapak is a nature park in Bamburi, Mombasa. The park holds a vast range of plant and animal species. Walking in the nature trail and getting to see the animals in Hala Park, it will cost you about 500 shillings. The beach. Now this is something that not so many people know, but the beach on the Kenyan coastline is free to anyone. The only difference is where can you get in from? If you get in from a hotel and you're not staying at the hotel, then you can decide to buy something from the hotel, maybe lunch or um, a drink, and then go to the beach. Uh, but there are so many small public access sites of the beach. So you can decide to get in from, uh, the ones that I know, there's one in Nyali, Nyali uh, Beach Hotel, then there's one at Mombasa Beach Hotel, and then there's another one at um, Pirates, that's the biggest uh, public beach that I know of. There's another one in Shanzu, there's also one at Neptune uh, Beach Hotel. If you don't know how to swim, you can hire a, a black tube tire which will help you float, about 100 shillings I think. And you can also decide to remove your shoes and just walk across the beach. Nightlife. Nightlife in Mombasa is an experience in itself. There's quite a number of nightclubs that you can visit in Mombasa and just have a good time. And this is where you get to experience the music side of Mombasa. You can have a beer from there. If you don't drink, you can have uh, a soda, water, and have a good time. One of the most popular places is uh, Anuba, Tapas, both in Nyali, Moonshine, at the Reef Hotel. Uh, we have some, many other clubs in Bamburi, and also Mtwapa. Mtwapa is the town that borders Mombasa and Kilifi County. It is in Kilifi County, but so many people in Mombasa access um, Mtwapa and love going to Mtwapa, so you can also decide to, to go there clubbing. Um, yeah, so it, it all depends with you. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. If you liked it and you want to see more of top affordable things to do elsewhere, uh, let me know by liking this video. And then leave a comment in the comment section below as always. Let me know what you think um, and what I should do next and also subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching be kind to one another Kohiri.